Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we have uh, Gunslinger Farmhouse Suicidal. Farmhouse, the map with no ghosts. Look, I'm not sure I'm gonna be playing on Ashford Asylum anytime soon, cause I'm like creeped out by it, dude. I don't do scary, and y'all, I know, I know y'all, y'all looking at it, being like, yo, it's not even that scary. Ah, uh, you overestimate my capability to handle fear. Okay, I'm the kind of, I'm the kind of chick who sits there with the. Uh, um, what's it called? What's it called? It's a story about those kids who are like investigating some alien thing, and uh, one of them is like, uh, if you, I I hear he's a bit of a butthead, and has his but like you can't really say he's a butthead because he has some kind of special needs or something like that, but he's kind of a butthead, is is what I've heard. I don't know. I, I've never met him, so I'm not saying personally. But that's that's the that's the that's that's the thing I've heard about him. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. Um. No, we're gonna. I don't have my. Hold up. What is this? What is this? So we got. Uh, let's see. Um. T Netflix, TV show, kids. D and D. Um. Um. I'm looking, I'm not seeing it. They play D and D on it. <sighs> What's the dang show called? I can't even. So they they kids, uh, superpowers. No, not superpowers. Alien. That's not how you spell alien. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the Netflix TV show. No kids, because that's just looking for kids shows. Uh, D and D, D and D. Dude, I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's called, dude. It's like on the tip of my tongue. I got that, uh, is it Presque Vu? It's like Deja Vu is when you have something that's come back and I'm like Presque Vu, or is it, uh, I can't remember what it's called. But there's, a, there's a word for it when it's like just on the tip of your tongue. I can't remember it, dude. Mmm, it's like right there, dude. I don't know what it is. What is it? Ah, uh, y'all know what it is, right? Y'all know what it is. <laughs> I don't think I've been describing it well enough for you guys to know what it is at all. But um, I'm thinking. No, no, no. I need to know. I need to know. This this must be solved. So we got. Uh, let's, let's find a descriptor of it. You got um. It was a Netflix original. You got a Netflix TV show about kids and uh, aliens. This is just giving me alien TV because Netflix has a show straight up about aliens now. Um, what the heck's this stupid show called, dude? You got like wizards versus aliens and stuff. Like, nah, dude. We got um, monsters. No, you got super monsters. Okay, cool, dude. Um, Netflix TV show, kids play D and D. Kids playing D and D. Cause they play D and D. Stranger Things. Oh, that's it. Yes. I feel so good. Stranger Things. Why, why did I need to know what Stranger Things is? I don't know. <laughs> All of this work, I don't even know why I need it. Anyway, Stranger Things, it was a good show, right? I didn't watch season two, because I, uh, I watched the first episode of season two, and I was like, wow, this just kind of feels like they're just pulling a bunch of stuff out of their butt to keep it going. And I didn't watch any more of it, because it kind of sucked. Maybe it's good. I don't know. But the like first episode of season two was just not not good. 
You know, they had some. Um, I, I don't. It's, it's it's the common trope in uh, like the uh, Stranger Things is is how old is Stranger Things? Can I talk about it? Stranger Things. Stranger Things was uh, 2016 for season one, and season two was three years ago. Ah, uh, is that is that spoil worthy? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. We're gonna be talking about Stranger Things this episode. If you haven't seen Stranger Things and you want to watch Stranger Things, I'll just be honest with you. I don't know when I'm gonna stop talking about Stranger Things in this episode. So like, you're probably better off just uh, watching the next episode. Go back and watch the last episode again, okay? I, I, you know, there's probably a lot of nuance in it that you might have lost with the whole ghost thing. Anyway, we're gonna be talking about Stranger Things because I want to talk about it, dude. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say I can't spoil it. I, I will say I, I should give you a spoiler warning. Five years is is kind of my, you know, I don't care, dude. I'll I'll still tell you before I spoil something, even if it's been five years. But three years, I kind of feel bad about it, you know. Anyway, so Stranger Things season one, it was really really good. They had um, what's her nuts with uh, with her like superpower telekinesis tele thing right and she was she was she was the one that had this right and then it, it's like it's a it's a common trope that happens as uh, as season two comes around and uh, all of a sudden like every kid in the world has uh, some kind of superpower and they're like driving around and and they're doing all these kinds of superpower kid things and I'm like you know season one was kind of cool because it was like one kid managed to escape from this facility where they were like testing her and like you know using all these kinds of things on her and like you know kind of developing all of this this alien technology and stuff and it was kind of like you know kind of cool right because they had all this stuff going on and uh, it kind of like you know infected into what's her face and uh, she she ended up uh, kind of um, having like superpowers right and then and then season two comes around and it's just like oh yeah actually there's like tons of them they just kind of exist now and it's like a common trope and uh, well not even trope but like a, a common plot device in uh, in a lot of uh, in a lot of shows for like trying to, to make more seasons is you know season one it's all about the aliens and the monsters and, and the all this kind of stuff that's happening, right? And she's 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 got her powers and she's helping out and stuff. And uh, then then you know you're done. Your your story has come to its logical conclusion, and uh, everybody's happy, right? And then you have to figure out a way to make it go on. And you're like, well, like there's still some stuff that you could develop on like the character development kind of front and like there's still questions to be answered but there isn't really enough for like a whole season to have like a a proper you know beginning and kind of conflict thing you know like a proper overarching thing so what you do is you just take the good characters and you make a bunch of copies of them and now you call them evil and then there's your conflict so you take the the one character that has superpowers, the one character in the world who was like unique and special, and then you just make it uh, commonplace, you know. And I'm just like, it happens in so many shows, and I, I hate it every time, honestly. I really do. Oh, you shouldn't break through there. You shouldn't. You shouldn't do that. You should come around over here. Okay, come, come this way. Yeah, get over here, boys. Get over here. I should play some, uh, some of that Kavak, Kavaka, whatever his name is. Um, he's got like an aim trainer. Do that to learn how to shoot things in the face, you know? Because I'm really not good at it. Sometimes. Sometimes, you know, we get our, our good moments and I'm like, Whoppa! Okay, you know what? It would have been sick if it worked. Sometimes I have my bad moments and it's like, you know? Can you get out of here, dudes? Y'all just kind of leave, alright? Uh, 
Um, anyway, so that was that was kind of what happened with my Stranger Things thing. Um, like it was just season one was so good. It was I wonder that I I, I, season one was probably like a like a six out of ten. And people people get mad when they say it's a six six out of six out of ten because they're like, nah, dude, it was like an eight out of ten. I'm like, no, it was like a six. It was a six. A six is solid, dude. I'll watch a six any day of the week. It's not in a. A lot of people like to use. Uh, you got your eight to eight to ten. Your eight for like it's watchable, right? Like it was it was it was okay. Eight 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 out of ten. And then you got your uh, your nine out of ten. Like oh, it was just like if she just showed her boobs, it would have been a ten, you know. And then you got um, and then you got your tens. She showed her boobs, you know. Uh, and then uh, <laughs> uh, you got your three to ones. Right? Where it's like, uh, a 3 is like, dude, it was garbage, but you'll at least laugh. A 2 is like, it, it was garbage, but like, I mean... She showed her boobs. And then you got a 1, which is like, dude, like, just don't even, don't even waste your time with it. Um, uh, but for me, and, and then all those in-between things, you know, the 4 to the 7s are just like, what the heck? Why'd you give it a one? You know? And uh, for me, I'm like, I don't know. I like to use the whole range of uh, of one to ten. You know, a six out of ten is, is a pretty good rating. Like that's 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 a six. You know? I'd say uh, I'd say a lot of things are a six out of ten. I think it's a a pretty nice uh, even ground to be uh, to be hitting there. I think it's I think it's pretty good, honestly. I am not getting hit by your stupid thing. Should have gone with crouch strats instead of circle strats. Where are you going? Where did he go? He disappeared. It's a magician's act. Where you at, buddy? Oh, he's right there. I see him, boys. I see him. I saw a glimmer. I saw a flicker. Okay, we have to go with uh, tree strats in this one, I think. Tree and crouch. Okay, you know what? We're dead. We're, we're gonna die here. And I'm sorry. I've disappointed you. I've disappointed myself. I should have been able to beat the Patriarch. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I will. Oh, look at that. Beautiful performance. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh. I just was hoping we could spray into it and and get some 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 damage off. He was like so close, dude. He was so close. Just keep your distance, you know. Not like that. Not like that. Do not go underground. Okay? I'm not suicidal. I'm just playing suicidal. Oh jeez, we're we're so dusted here, dude. How do we avoid this? this cat's back in the game. Come on, dude. No, 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 no. You should not be able to heal again, I don't think. You're just gonna continue chasing me down, right? No, he's 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 running. Come on. Ah. Oh. When the patriarch manages to get away, it's just like, why am I so bad? You know. And we're gonna run it like straight out of ammo here too. So, uh, yeah, welcome to like just <laughs> patriarch on farmhouse is a is a bad experience. Okay, we're like I don't I don't think we can kill him, and it's not even that uh, he's gonna kill us necessarily. It's that uh, like we don't have enough bullets to to actually kill him. Like we just we don't have enough bullets. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You know, sometimes it happens, right? Um, sometimes it happens. You came so close to victory. But I didn't. So close. I didn't really come that close. Well, actually, if we didn't waste a whole bunch of bullets firing into the the abyss, we probably would have gotten. So I guess it's my fault. There's nothing I could do, dude. Y'all ever just uh, break out into song at times? You're just kind of like sitting there, and then all of a sudden, everything you say is in song of some sort. No, no, just me. Yeah. Huh. 
It's not even a good song. I can't sing. Okay, I'm a, I'm a terrible singer. <laughs> I'm terrible at it, dude. Um, not that I uh, really care so much to be a better singer, but like I'm not good at it, so... We're going to get revenge on the Patriarch here by killing the um, Matriarch. Uh, little does the Patriarch know that I'm actually invincible. I'm immortal. I can't be killed. It's like Death's Gambit, you know? See you, dude. It's like Death's Gambit. Got the uh, the monster on the stream today. Look, we've got... Uh, I've, I've watched the game before. So I know, I know, like, it was, like, years ago, right? Like, it was a long time ago. I watched it when it first came out on, like, PS4 or whatever. Uh, I can't see anything right now. I watched it when it first came out on PS4 forever ago. And, uh, like, you, you might say, like, wow, you totally can see. Nah, dude. Nah, those headshots were mad impressive. <laughs> I could not see, like, at all. I just saw a couple of, like, uh, shapes, and I was like, yeah, this is probably about where the head is, and it worked every time. You can clap now. Um, and we got we got one quest coming up, and I'm like, I remember, I remember there's something about a boat here, and I think I think we're gonna be hopping into into a boat, and then and then and then and then going and killing a a big old elder dragon, and I'm like, ooh, I'm excited. So I'm super hyped about the stream today. And that's um, it's a good feeling to have. It's a good feeling to have. That excitement that comes from it is, is so nice. Yeah, I have like uh, a lot of work to do today because this week has been like probably one of the worst weeks I've had. Not uh, not from like a depression standpoint, but from like a productivity standpoint since I started, right? Like I, I've, I've gotten nothing done this week. I've not been very uh, responsible with, with my decisions here and um, just all in all like not super great, right? So this is the third KF2 video I've recorded today, or that I am recording today. We got another four to go after this, I think. So it's like, yeah, just dudes. Um, another four to go after this, so it's like uh, just a lot. But, um, dude, please stop it. I hate you. I hate Edars. Okay. There are a few additions to this game that I disagree with on a fundamental level. Okay. Edars are one of them. I disagree with their existence in the game. I don't think that they're like, look, when I when I started out playing uh, on, on camera, it's kind of funny. Like, when, when we started out, we were playing on hard, and I was like, I don't know if I really want to move up to suicidal, like. And now I'm like, I don't know if I've, like, <laughs> I, it's kind of what I'm, I'm I, okay. Let's just uh, get back together here so I can talk and have uh, maintain some kind of semblance of sanity. It's a, it's a great act I put on sometimes. Um, but when we started these videos, you could go back to episode one or whatever. Like I was playing on hard, right? And uh, we moved up to Hell on Earth, and I was like just feeling so accomplished completing a Hell on Earth run. Like we moved up to suicidal. I'm like, ah, it's a little bit tricky, but like, yeah, I think we can. I think we can do it. I think we're ready for this suicidal jump. And then now I'm like, you want me to play a hard mode? Why would I play baby mode? <laughs> you know? So that's that's the growth that I've had as a, as a KF2 player over the course of the series, and it's uh, all in all, like it's it's pretty cool to see, really, right? I think anyway. Like you go back and watch episode one, I'm not as good as I am now, you know? It's the like it, over the course of the series, there has been a a, a noticeable growth from a, uh, like, just how good am I perspective. Can you bash this guy? Oh, you can! Heck yeah. Um, yeah, I knew that, that pump shotgun was there. I wanted it. Um, you can see, like, a, like progression in my, my personal skill as a KF2 player, especially as a gunslinger since I started taking on uh, gunslinger main kind of uh, stance, which I definitely have. I'm 100% uh, a gunslinger main now. Look, I don't have any water. Okay, I uh, I forgot to refill my water bottle. It's right here. I have uh, a little bit of water left in it, but like nothing, nothing major. 
so I gotta I gotta fill it up and then drink some water. I've not actually drank any water today. I've not drank a single drop of water today, which is is going to be a problem when I do drink water because I'm gonna get uh, I like I was just uh, like super dried out, super dehydrated kind of thing, you know. So when I finally drink water, it's gonna be like wow. I haven't had water in 18 years, dude. This is incredible. And like, also I'll end up drinking it way too fast and then just kind of like drown. And it'll be super uncomfortable. And uh, that's that's what my future holds for me. What does your future hold for you? I looked up how to be a uh, skip the dishes driver, by the way. I was talking about uh, maybe taking on that kind of responsibility. I, I was actually going through the sign up process and uh, they wanted me to put in my address right which you, sure you're, you're like setting up a contract with uh, of employment here right like it's you're getting paid and you need to have uh, address name you know social insurance number to probably and like bank account information so, like there's probably a lot of stuff that you got to give them so that they can like legally employ you you know what I mean but they wanted me to put in my address and I typed in my address you know, we'll, we'll call it 1111, Example Street, Example City, right? So we were living at uh, 101 John Lane, Example City, okay? And uh, nothing here this time. Uh, so I punched that in, and it came up with, like, some, some drop-down things, right? So in these drop-down things, I had to... I, you have to click on the drop-down thing. You cannot just type in... You're, you're like exactly what's in the drop down you have to click on the drop down thing okay you must it will not accept it unless you do it so it's putting in some random special information or whatever it requires this click for you to to say that you have actually like filled it out okay the first one was my address the first one was on a phone anyway too close to the tap box of the uh, like text box that you're typing in that if I tried to click on it it just moved my cursor so I was like I literally cannot click on this it is actually impossible because anytime I try to click on it it's just overlapped with the uh, with the text box and it's just moving my uh, my cursor so I'm like wow I was like gonna sign up and now I'm just like not going to do that until I have time on my computer and I'm probably going to forget about it for a while and it's going to be like a whole thing and yeah I was just like bruh like this is this is pretty dumb <laughs> like, the first option should be the one that's most like I'm um, that's the one that you're going to be clicking on right like how often does your address come up after you type in your own address and, and all this stuff that uh that it's going to be the second or the third one you know like it's not not gonna happen um, so I just uh, it, was, it was kind of kind of funny to me so I'll, I'll have to set it up later on my computer maybe if I want to I don't know thing is I'm not even necessarily sure I want to do it anymore you know what I mean like that day I was I was interested in setting it up and they wouldn't let me do it so I was like whatever I'll do it on my computer now I can do it but I'm like do I want to I don't know I want a job, okay, I want a job that's that's flexible like that, like the hours are flexible, there's no quotas or anything like that, it's it's just work whenever you want for however long you want, uh, you're not obligated to actually accept anything or, or whatever, like you just be like, I'm working right now, eh, I don't really want it, like you get paid per job, right, like you, you, yeah, you have the app or whatever and it's like, hey, you got like all of these things, which one do you want to go do? And then you, you know, click on it, and you'd be like, I'm going to go do this one. And then uh, you go, you pick up the food, you drop it off at whoever's house, and then you get paid. After you uh, do that, right? And uh, yeah, just, just for me, anyway, I just, uh, it seems like a pretty good job, right? For, for what I need, anyway. I don't know how the pay is, but I want to give it a try. I don't have a car that's really super great at it um, but they do also have like a foot courier um, thing so I, I want to look into maybe doing that perhaps or uh, they also have a bicycle courier thing so looking into to one of those because a it would be like good for getting a workout right 
which would be uh, which would be good. Like doing like two hours of uh, of like you know foot courier stuff every day, and like that's just that's 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 my walk for the day, which I, I want to be doing anyway. Although I'm not um, barely even consider it work. You know what I mean? No. Um, so it's just kind of like, yeah, you know, it's just kind of there. And then, um, I don't know, I'll, I have to, I have to think about it, but, uh, it's definitely a possibility for me. So not sure I'll be doing it or not. I do want a job that's, that's flexible like that, that, uh, that pays me enough to survive though. Cause if I get a job that gets me like a thousand dollars Canadian a month or whatever, then not next month, but like by the end of the year I could have enough money to to, to responsibly move out uh, you know finding a place to live in uh, within my budget is, is a whole nother problem but like the money the budget would be there within like a few months of, uh, of me getting a job anyway um, that's gonna do it for today so thank you for watching remember to like the video if you like it subscribe to see more in the future comment if you have anything to say and I'll see you next time bye bye